What is going on, guys? We are back once again, and we are going to be talking about a uh, game review we have not done in, uh, in a while. We're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, if you guys have played uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, then obviously, because it's been out for two years, I believe, so it's not like there's a whole bunch to discuss. I know that the game itself, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just, it, it's, it's missing a lot of key points for me. It's not the best game in the world. Um, there are elements about the game I like, and there's elements about the game I don't like. I, I just, I really wish that they would have kept to the Assassin's Creed roots. Like, a lot of people, uh, honestly, from what I remember, a lot of people did not like uh, Unity, which I was one of those people. I hated Unity. I thought it was probably the worst out of the entirety of the series, but this actually, I think, beats it because, well, I wouldn't say beat it, but maybe in a way it's it's up there because again it's not the best in the series. It really it really isn't. But Odyssey it has its good and bad. Like I want to say, like in Origins there was issues about it, like you know the upgrading on and off again that was that was getting very annoying. I was hoping that that would not happen again with this one, but unfortunately it was. I was hoping that they would honestly let it go because I honestly got tired of them doing that because it just felt like okay you're an assassin you should be able to do this you should be able to do that like they, they I'm trying to remember if they did that in syndicate because in syndicate we didn't really have to worry about that honestly I felt like you just you're like okay you could be a badass or you could be stealthy if you wanted to it didn't matter if you were going to be stealthy it didn't matter if you were gonna just rip apart people you know that's what it felt like to me it didn't feel like oh you had to do this or do that to freaking beat a character and it got really like okay like i'm like okay what are they trying to do make it like world of warcraft like what the hell's going on like that's what it felt like to me but the gameplay itself again it was like it just it felt like it was origins honestly it just felt like it was origins um they went too far on the like the the mystics of the game like with the whole medusa and all that kind of stuff like i just I, I thought it was cool but was it necessary no um because a lot of people including myself i did not like that i thought it was not needed i did not think it was i mean again was it fun yes but was it needed no so again it goes with back and saying okay there was bad and good with that game now story-wise um story-wise uh again not the best story uh is alexios or cassandra my favorite uh let's say assassin no they're not because again i thought it was just the story was lacking a lot out of my opinion it just felt like okay uh this is gonna happen or this is gonna happen so it just it, it just felt like they were trying too hard with trying maybe to like these characters out of my opinion now again was it the again is it a good game yes it's a decent game but it's not the best out of the entire series because it won't live up to, i'm sorry it will not live up to brotherhood it will not live up to black flag and you have all these different games like honestly was i a fan of the original Assassin's Creed? no i had to play replay it a few times just so i could enjoy myself because other than that it, it was boring but then I got addicted to the second one, and Ezio became one of my favorite characters. Now, do I have to play, uh, let's say, Odyssey again, maybe as Cassandra or as Alexios again? Maybe. But were they Alexios or Cassandra good characters in their own rights? Yes. They had their own... I mean, the story pretty much was the same. You were able to, okay, you know, you were taken off as a cliff. You are descendants of the Spartan leader Leonidas back during the Persian War. You find out that you're basically the start of, technically, Leonidas started it with the bloodline of, technically, the assassins. It's just they don't really call themselves assassins. They just call themselves uh, Special Blood or or the Eagle Bearer, as uh, Alexios is called, or Cassandra is called. Um, the cult is what the Templars are called before any of this. So this is before um, Origins. Now, Origins was the point of building the Brotherhood, and then the time with Altair was rebuilding. So, the Brotherhood just keeps getting rebuilt, 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 rebuilt. So, again, this is not building a Brotherhood. This is not 
Um, this is basically going out on your own quest, and you're and again, you get to choose your decisions again depending on what you want to do. Now, was the Greek world fun to have? I mean, yeah, it, it, it's fun. Um, I like that time era. It just it, it felt like again it was lacking for me. It, there wasn't a lot of Again, it, it just it felt like it was very lacking. Um, it wasn't as fun as what I thought the others was gonna be. I did not think it was it was as climactic as the rest of it. I didn't feel like it was as important as the others were to me because I, when I played Brotherhood, when I played um, Black Flag, or even because um, because again, there's so many. I really wish that there could have been better uh, games. Like, is Rogue One my favorites? No, but it's fun to play. Um, is, is AC3 one of my favorites? Not really, but but it is fun to play. Um, Origins has its issues. This one, again, has its issues. Now, obviously, there has not been an Assassin's Creed game within two years. We were supposed to get one, apparently, this coming year. Hopefully, we will. Um, again, it all depends on what they're going to want to do. It don't matter if... Um, again, guys, I, I'm hoping that we get a better... Uh, game because if we don't, I'm gonna be very disappointed. <laughs> to you know, depending on what they're gonna do, I don't know if they're gonna be like, oh hey, guess what? We're gonna get it and we're going to enjoy it, or we're gonna be like, hey, you know, it sucks. I mean, because that does happen. You know, it happened during I think this game. It happened during there was issues with Od uh, Origins. Uh, Odyssey again has issues with the story going into um, is is it really you know? Can, does it matter if you play as Alexios or Cassandra? No, because you get the same results. You get to, you know, oh, you can choose to kill your adoptive father. You get to choose to kill your real father. You get to choose to kill your sister or your um, stepbrother. Or, or basically, it's basically just a choice game. And, and, you know, I don't mind those kind of games. But if, was I really, was it needed for Assassin's Creed? Mm, I don't fully think so. Because, again, Assassin's Creed has always been one of those ones. It's more story driven than anything else. And it is, once again, lacking. On a lot of areas especially story it just felt like there was more you had to continue doing side quests more than anything else it just felt like it was a side quest right side quest side quest side quest to keep upping your character the entire time and even if you did that it didn't help you when you went on a animal mission or a boss mission or anything of that nature it just it didn't feel like that you actually it mattered honestly it didn't feel like that it actually mattered to have those abilities to go oh hey guess what i'm able to do this oh hey guess what i'm able to do that it just didn't matter to me it, it felt like it was like oh okay well i'm able to do this okay oh well that that's what it felt like to me honestly it didn't feel like it was better than what it could be um again with the upgrading the abilities that was fine we had that in syndicate which i liked um again i can't remember if, if you did uh up on the on like the numbers i think that's where they started from and they went on well they started it with Unity, and then they I think they did it with Unity Syndicate as well as Origins, and then they did it again in Odyssey. So they may do it again in the very next game. There is a lot of rumors of what the next game will be. There's no guarantee on if it will be taking place in uh, during Viking time or World War II or in Japan, China, whatever. I mean, whatever we're going to get is whatever we're going to get. Now, again, Odyssey is one of those, again, Greek world. You are a descendant of... Of course, one of the best in the um, Leonidas, and then of course go through this entire story of Alex, uh, either Alexios Cassandra being a mercenary. You meet different people. You find out that your mother's alive. Going through this entire journey, trying to find her. You find out about the call, which is actually the Templars, and then you try to kill them because of what they did to your family. So this is a whole story about trying to redeem yourself and redeem your family, which is perfectly fine. But again, it does have points where it's like, okay, that's enough, or okay, that's this, or okay, that's that. It just, it just felt like it was again lacking. It just felt like it was a bunch of BS, honestly, if I can say so. It just, it felt like it was boring. It just, it got boring after a while because it's like, okay, like I didn't care about none of the characters, honestly. Did I really care about Alexios? Not particularly. Did I care about um, the mom? Not really. Did I care about any of the characters? Again, guys, I didn't care. Um, like I did in Origins. Origins I had a hard time even caring about too. Like did I care about Bayek? Not particularly because again Bayek was one of those characters that again it seemed like you were really trying to um, care about 
And at the same time, it just felt like you were kind of forced to care about him. And honestly, it felt like the same thing with Odyssey. So I'm hoping the next one they can improve on not just the story, but the characters, the gameplay, um, the weapons, of course, um, what you're going to be getting out of it. So that's just my uh, obvious course review of uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I may probably jumped around a little bit, probably mumbled. Uh, I do apologize. I was just kind of going back and forth. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys already played Assassin's Creed Odyssey, what did you guys think? If you liked it, that's cool. If you didn't, that's cool too. So just let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave a bit fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Let me know what you think. And I'll be seeing you guys on the very next one. See you later.